Jeez, bro, clean your mirror. Gosh, crap, loud pills. What is all that? See, it's heat safe, but is it really? Yeah. Yeah. All of the glasses are dirty. Seven eggs with a little bit of whole milk whipped in there, lightly whipped, lightly scrambled. So I was gonna have some like oats, but I've been realizing that like when I've been having oats, I kind of get like bogged down in comparison to like when I have like bananas or fruit or even rice. I feel like a little bit better, but I don't really have any rice right now. Actually, yeah, I do. I just don't want rice right now. Bananas just kind of been more of like a breakfast food, so three of them should be sufficient. Plenty more carbs to come. Don't even worry, guys. Mmm. This is good. No. Oh. So this is uh, meal number one breakfast. Eating motivation uh, uh, while eating. Is off season, I switch up. You know how you do it. All done. Supplements. Alright. Vitamin D, K2. Been taking a lot of serving of this. Comes out in little drops. Joint support. Turmeric based supplement. The serving size is three. I'm only taking one, and I'm only taking this like four times, four or five times a week. I really only take it on workout days. So, all right. Astaxanthin. This is one, no, I swear, like nobody else talks about, but this one is like a hidden gem. Then Tonkat, but not today because I am currently doing four days on, three days off, and this is one of my off days. However, there is a new herb that I've been adding in. Sistanch. It's supposed to maybe act like a natural SARM or a natural test booster. And honestly, I, I think maybe I have been noticing a little something. Um, been taking this one six days a week. I usually like to take one day where I don't take any stops. Yeah, Sistanch. And I'm also going to be getting some more herbs. I'm just going <laughs> to we're going to be urban out. So I think I'm going to try, I'm going to throw in maybe some like tribulus. Maybe some turkesterone. I don't know. We're gonna be urban out, bro. Every natural test booster, maybe we're just gonna throw in the mix. Cause why the heck not? If I start feeling my heartbeat like on this side, then maybe I'll maybe I'll stop. Other than that, gonna hit up the hit up the toilet. Go from there. All right. So far, I've had approximately 908 calories, 112 grams of carbs. 34-ish grams of fat and about 53 grams of protein. But no, for real, I'm feeling actually pretty good right now. Just digesting the food, relaxing, doing some, doing some red light, getting ready to go to the gym. I know a lot of people out there probably think I'm nuts, but I, I'm telling you, I swear by this thing. Just doing this for about like five minutes each side, and then gym time. Gonna be throwing in a little extra pumpage into this workout. Why not? It's upper body day. So I only do like a half scoop, really. You know, just getting the most out of the least. That's all I really need. And I don't take this every day, you know, just occasionally <laughs> on upper body days, honestly. By the way, I really like these tempered glass bottles, but this stupid lid barely survived like three washes in the dishwasher. But the ceiling part still works. Saturday, so all I really have to do is eat and go to the gym, but it's gym time going to the gym and because it is Saturday I am currently still doing that schedule I talked about in that previous video where Saturday is my full upper body day So that's what I am planning to do and then I, I bought I brought a post-workout meal and Yeah Probably I don't know 
focus Jacqueline. Yeah. What is going on? It's so Karen right now. You're gonna ask to see the manager. You just see the uh, the blonde highlights. Oh my gosh! Why is it doing this? Full range. Oh yeah. Team full range of motion. Whoa. Are you adding on weight? Heck yeah, brother. Dude, I'm already I'm already hundred and almost two hundred pounds though, so I'm I am a weight and pull up. But so. I thought we're it's uh the next bet is first one to a weighted body weight pull up. Oh, like plus your own body weight? So I'd have to add 200 pounds. I'd have to add 180. Gets 20? Gets 20. 20 bucks? All right, let's do this. So that means I'd have to do eight, eight of these because I'm almost 200. I barely could do one for five. Open my eyes and like literally a car is like pulling out in front of you. <laughs> uh, okay, just a little bit of VNS. If you guys didn't see the last video, I'm, that's gonna be an, this is gonna be another biohack I'm throwing into like certain times of the day. It's Who is this? Lady. It's like a grandma looking lady. Oh my gosh! She just whipped in front of me the second time now. All right. So post workout, six ounces of ground beef, six ounces of rice. I'm gonna eat this up in the car. I'm gonna get this thing down and uh, just continue eating. I gotta, I gotta start eating because uh, yeah, it's kind of, kind of going a little later in the day. So, gotta, gotta get this going. Oh, nice and cold. Mm. What up? It's just a lot of guac. It's a ton of guac, and it's, like it's a, a lot. Get a little one? Okay, if you want to eat it. It's so bulky. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Most important part of the day. So the rule is, you gotta stand, there's like a line right here. You gotta stand on this line, Nerf basketball, if you make the hoop, cheat meal. Do this every day. What's it gonna be today? Come on. We doing brownies? We doing cookies? Go! Oh. Redo. Oh, I give myself three tries too. Yeah. Okay. So. Nope. Gotta focus. Oh my gosh! Alright, we're keeping it clean today. Farm boy. Baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Throwing in another meal really quick. Butternut squash with some butter on there and some maple syrup. And the rest of the beef, it was a pound in total, so I think what I had in the car was probably a little bit over a half pound. So yeah, just finishing up that total pound. And then I have a chopped up apple on the side right here. It's got that hearty wholesome home cooked just flavor to it so really the only added sugar i've been trying to have is maple syrup honey and maybe a little eggnog because it is the holiday season so other than that though maple syrup and honey mm, oh this is freaking good this right here this is that like pure farm boy food if i had a glass of milk with it oh yeah oh man i really acquired a taste for that <laughs> Either fortunately or unfortunately, after GoMad last year, and over the summer I was struggling to try to keep my consumption low, but now I consider just straight up plain whole milk actually a good food for the bulk. So 
still doing the rosemary cream blend on the hairline every single day. Sometimes multiple times a day. Because we're going to see if that has any effect whatsoever after like six months. Alright, other than that, it feels so good to take a shower. I'm going to go make some dinner. Dinner is served. So there's a full chicken breast on here, a little bit of sauteed peppers, onions, sour cream, guacamole, salsa, the full kit and caboodle. And it's on this uh, this wrap, which is actually like an almond flour wrap. Honestly, I might throw in some chips. There's these uh, chips by Siete. They're like a cassava chip. I don't feel bad when I eat them. Maybe it's just a mental thing. But I love that crunch, and um, with a little bit of that guacamole, that'd be really good. I'm gonna take a bite of this for you guys, and then I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy this. And I might have another one. I'll let you know if I have another one of these, cause, mm. man, that's good. I'm gonna have to do a little math for that calorie calculation, but we're getting up there. So I've got two pairs of glasses, and you often see me wear these. That's cause usually I'm like doing stuff with them in the day. But these ones right here, these are actually blue blockers. You can kind of see that like blue tint being reflected. Now I used to just kind of wear these interchangeably, but I noticed that when I wore the blue blockers, I actually felt more like, almost like drowsy and just kind of like, ah. Uh. And I think that's because it's blocking the blue light, which maybe has some kind of energizing effect, you know, like from the sun, from screens, whatnot. So what I've been doing now is towards nighttime, before bed, I've been switching to these blue blockers and I feel like it helps me actually get kind of tired for bed, which is a good thing when it's dark and later out. So yeah, if you see me switch between these later, like you see me wearing these and then I'm all of a sudden wearing these, that's what's going on. Oh, killing tacos. Killing tacos. Mm. Same thing really, I went wrapless and I added chips on this one. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I need to, I need to make this. So. <clears throat> I thought you already did it for the cheat meal though and you didn't make it. You know what? Do over. All right, so we're, we're in the middle of watching a Christmas movie. It's one of my favorites. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I'm, I'm feeling an ice cream. Like I just, I really want some ice cream, but I didn't make the shot earlier, but I'm giving myself a second chance because it's Saturday, all right? And I think I can do this. I think I can lock in, okay? It's Saturday for crying out loud, like come on. I get three shots, I get three shots. Okay. You just gotta, you gotta just go, you just gotta do it. That was, was that two? Okay. Oh my gosh, you're getting worse and worse. Yeah. <laughs> the light oh, the wasn't light wasn't on. on. The light wasn't on. Okay, now for real. Jacqueline, don't stop filming, all right? We need proof of this. <laughs> serving really not that much yeah it's really not what's the calories on this so you have about 330 calories per serving for two thirds cup plus or minus plus or minus burgers and fries Man, how many girls do you know that'll dig into i like burgers house? and fries i'm out are you leaving already yeah i got an early squash game in the morning all right this is yeah, getting weird so yeah that is weird <laughs> end of the night two oh All right, so 203.6, end of the night. Obviously, I have a lot of food in my stomach. It's kind of distended, and I also have probably water and whatever in there too. Overall, I feel like my weight is going up steadily, actually kind of quickly, these last, what, four or five weeks now. Yeah, I literally went from 189 to like this much weight. Well, this morning's pretty much the more real weight. Even then, I probably still had some food left over. Anyways, it just, it may seem kind of fast, at least it does to me. But I think that's just that initial like filling back out. And now I think I'm at a point where it's more of like a sticking point. Regardless, I'm getting stronger. All my lifts are like getting heavier with more reps. And I do feel like I am putting on size. Like I can visibly see it in the mirror. Everything seems like it's it's going according to plan. Um, I'm not hungry at all, like ever really. But I always feel like I can eat. 
So it's kind of a really, it's been a really good refreshing feeling just to have that, like not really ever being hungry, but just like, yeah, I could definitely, like it's, it's interesting. Yeah, everything's going pretty good. It, obviously, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them. I am working on a few things in secret that you guys will see in challenges. Like I mentioned in the last video, they're smaller body parts. Um, you might have got a little sneak peek in the training footage today. I didn't film all the training. It's a full day of eating video, so those all should be able to stack on top of each other and just go together with this this overall theme and, and all work together. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, vlog or style or whatever like this, let me know. Um, yeah, more challenges come out, more other stuff coming out. Stay tuned. Hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.